So there's a really cool, really simple to do hologram effect I've seen used all over the place. Um, and let me show you how it's done. Now the way it's done is really simple. All they use is a piece of glass and a monitor. So this hologram effect I've seen at the Coca-Cola Museum, I've seen it done at the Science Center, and I've seen done in two different arcades, and I've even seen it done on my old Pontiac Grand Prix as a heads-up display. Now, all you need to do this effect is a computer monitor, either up on the ceiling or down on the ground, pointed directly up or down. And you need a piece of glass that's on a 45 degree angle from that monitor. The light from the monitor is going to hit that glass and be directed out to the person viewing it. So they'll see the reflection of what's on the monitor in the glass, but they'll also be able to see through the glass and it will look like a 3D hologram effect. Now, on my old Pontiac Grand Prix and some other cars, I've seen it as a heads-up display. And with that, the monitor was on the dashboard and it was reflected off the glass on the windshield. And I was able to see radio stations, whether I was in park, whatever gear I was in, or the speed I was going. It was super cool and really effective to have on a car, and I think more cars should have it. But typically, it's done with a computer monitor that's up in the ceiling or up above the person, and it's reflected down off the glass to the person viewing it. Now this is done in an arcade game called Time Traveler, which was way back in the 90s. It's also in a current arcade game called Crazy Tower. And it's a big four-sided arcade game that if you go to any side, there's a triangular piece of glass up in front of you and you're seeing the reflection off the monitor up above. So if you look up above, you can see the monitor, but you can also see through the glass. That's where you get that hologram effect. It's just a piece of glass. That projection is up here on the top. Now, two other places I've seen it were in the Coca-Cola Museum and in a, a science center nearby. And with that, it was recessed into the wall. And the trick there is they're trying to hide the monitor. The monitor is up in the ceiling in this cabinet. They're hiding it behind a bar and they're hiding the glass on a 45 degree angle. Maybe they're putting things to kind of hide the glass so you can't right away see the glass but if you look you can see the 45 degree angled glass and the monitor up above if you get down you can look up and see it and with that when it's recessed in the cabinet they put other objects in that cabinet or in that room so it looks like the hologram is uh, reacting with things so it's a really cool really simple effect that anybody could try and I bet if you look around for it you'll notice it next time you're in one of those areas so let me know what you think thanks